All the way from VA, this is my dog, one of the hottest young comics in the DMV. Start clapping now, start clapping now. Put your chicken down, start clapping now. Give it up for the comedy stars of my man, Big Dog! Cut that shit, DJ. Cut that. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. He, he special. He wanted to scratch and everything. Get up for the DJ, man. All right, damn. Give him a stage for calling niggas all out wrong. The next young, that 46, what the fuck I'm young? No. The next young comic. Let me get into this game. Get it up for Stacey, y'all, man. Get it up for my man. This game up here. What's happening, Baltimore? Yeah. My brother, Thanksgiving, week, weekend, or whatever. Give it up for y'all selves for coming out. Yeah. Beautiful. Tired of this stupid shit. Tired of stupid shit. I'm going to get right in. I'm tired of my motherfucking nigga cousin mess with white women and bring them to the goddamn dinner. Talking about they make potato salad like grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I went the fuck off. I said, niggas, you crazy. Right. Hey, how y'all doing? This Sandy right here. How we get? We brought potatoes out. Potatoes out there just like yeah. that mom. I said, get the fuck out now. <laughs> y'all doing too much. I tell you, the world coming to an end. Give it up for yourself for coming out. Drink up tonight, because the world coming to an end. I know. I'm the messenger. I'm here to tell your ass. You know. It been a rainstorm, a monsoon, motherfucking thunderstorms, and all kinds of tornadoes and shit. You ain't even know what to put on tonight. You was like, it's gonna be cold outside tonight or not. <laughs> Niggas putting on winter coats and slippers. <laughs> you don't know how to go to work. The world coming to a motherfucker is a drink up tonight. I promise you, everything y'all know, y'all wake up tomorrow. Your best cousin died. You be like, fucked up on Facebook. You'll see it. Right? Everybody get up now. You don't need to check your alarm like You check your phone to see what's on Facebook now. <laughs> you wake up. Oh, damn. Uncle Charles died. That's fucked up. So drink the fuck up tonight. Tomo, he, she make potato salad better than grandma. Get the fuck out of here. You don't stop that bullshit. <laughs> Who in town? This ain't from Baltimore. Who in town? Just here for Thanksgiving. Anybody? No, everybody straight from Baltimore. That's wrong. You know a nigga don't even want to come to your city. What y'all say at Baltimore? Nah, we ain't even gonna come. We gonna go on to Nama House this year. <laughs> <laughs> nigga won't even visit Baltimore for Christmas or nothing. You know y'all damn fucked up. <laughs> you still in Baltimore? Nah, Randall's here. Mm -mm. Nah, I ain't gonna do it. Go on. Go on. You, see, you on the plane, you be like, go on past BWI. <laughs> Fight it to the go and tell him. <laughs> Send me to Virginia. Go on, I get off in Virginia. Dallas. Stop at Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> world fucked up. Trick up tonight. This serious shit. The world ain't promising you. Somebody ain't gonna be here tomorrow. I promise you that. Kids fucked up. The world is fucked up. Kids lay this shit now. I tell you, I'm so glad to get away from my kids tonight. You won't fuck about nobody's kids who came for Thanksgiving. I was tired of shit yesterday. I ate my little food. I got away from them fucking kids because they disrespectful. <laughs> Running around, tearing up people's house. You know damn well. They was talking about Stacey, you know. Stacey said, you go to somebody's house, you shut the fuck down. Eat your food in an Indian style, in a circle, on the goddamn floor, and shut the fuck up. You watch your football. <laughs> now kids running all through the house, doors slamming. I, I woke up seven times, shut the goddamn door, it ain't even my house. <laughs> I'm on somebody else's house, I'm trying to destruct, destruct these little ass, bad ass kids. <laughs> Fuckers don't do nothing no more, I ain't lying. We went outside and I'm 46. I went outside as a young, it was one bag of marbles. I stayed outside for eight hours. <laughs> Fucking marbles, eight hours, nothing else. Or whatever else we figured out. We played shit on the basketball court. We shot basketball with a tennis ball for nothing. For eight hours. We didn't have a basketball. Shoot the tennis ball from 10 feet away. Whoever make it, the winner. For eight hours straight. Now the kids won't even go outside for five minutes. They come back in the house. Five minutes come in the house. I'm like, we thirsty. Get the fuck back outside. Now we get outside for five fucking minutes. We thirsty and hungry, struggling around and kissing this shit. You just ate. Hey, get the fuck outside. <laughs> now they don't eat Thanksgiving shit. We had stuff and all that shit. Ham, my kids, bed and shit, won't eat nothing. So my, my brother kids coming in, so we don't eat. 
chicken and turkey off the bone. How the fuck, where you think it came from? <laughs> Y'all ain't got no turkey nuggets. Ain't no fucking turkey nuggets in here. Turkey fingers and chicken fingers. I said, where the fuck you think that shit came from? Off the bone. What the fuck you think they got turkeys and chickens running around with no bones on them? Just a boneless chicken and turkey running around the farm. Just go, 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 go. Get the fuck outside some damn way. Bonus chicken. I hate these fucking kids. They get on my nerves. Bonus chicken. Oh, my God. Gobble, 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 gobble. You stupid as shit, man. Get your hands out the fucking house. Bonus chicken. What's up, Sandy? Get it for uh, the real white woman right here. Get it for Sandy. Put it work up, y'all. I appreciate it. But my cousin Charles, I told her, don't you ever spring Sandy over here no more time, but she make potato salad better than any nigga in this house. Just chefing it to you. Ain't got a toe tap to get no white woman in 2017. Lying and shit. Ooh, that's good potato salad. Like my nanma. She was like, oh, thank you, James. Get the fuck. <laughs> Mike, I ain't lying. This is real shit. Stupid, man. Stop it. <laughs> Every recording, when they get to the part when I talk about my kid, they be like, you feel like that for real, Dad? I said, you goddamn right. <laughs> Y'all get on my fucking nerves. <laughs> dancing. Every motherfucker think of dance now. Who got kids? They, you talk to your kids, you be like, Y'all do your homework? This motherfucker talking about. <laughs> I said, walk off. I said, cut the fuck in. You do your fucking homework. What the fuck is you dancing for? It's just stupid. Did you take out the trash? These motherfuckers are all through the house. What the fuck are you dancing for? Come here and answer my damn questions. I don't want to see no fucking dance. I ain't bullshit. I swear the world come drink up. The world's coming to an end. Fucking dance. I said, nigga, y'all hungry? <laughs> I pulled out the switch on them old school shit. I said, you know what? Dance or no fucking dance. I'm gonna burn your ass up in here. I got the switch. I got the switch. I tried to, I tried to scare them and everything. I got the switch and put them tied together and shit. <laughs> Pull a little tape on the end. I'm gonna burn your ass. I'll burn the skin off your ass. They don't hear that shit. They talk back and everything. They don't give a fuck. You look at me. I come in the house screaming, get the fuck out. Come here. I don't think you made it. Walk away talking to her. Call me Big Angry. Oh, go here, Big Angry. <laughs> what the fuck you call him Big Angry? I always call me all angry. <laughs> Can't stand it, like man. They don't know how to do shit. Child, ain't lazy. I step son, this nigga don't even know how to change the toilet paper roll. You know how you get down to the cardboard? He just stand there, just rolling the cardboard. <laughs> What I do with it. I said, you stupid motherfucker, pull the damn thing together. <laughs> the fucking car wore out. He didn't know who. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Fuckers is dumb. This is stupid ass questions all the time. <laughs> I got my one daughter. She was mad. She, she was, uh, I sent her to school. And she can't eat a lot of stuff because she allergic to a lot of shit. So, I gotta send her lunch to, with her. So she get to school, she starts seeing the little white kids and shit with their little lunchables and shit. So she come home petty, don't wanna eat her lunch. I look at her back, I said, why you eat your lunch today? She said, I don't like that. I want lunch, but I said, look, first of all, them lunchables is $3.99 a pop. You know damn well. You not eating them every day. You better get this fucking bologna and cheese sandwiches and stop eating bullshit. So, she kept going through her little thing, coming home and home and shit. As soon as she get in the house, she eating up. I said, why you not eating lunch? She's like, I don't like it. So I said, I got you. I got one lunch, my boy, one lunch. I said, when you finish that, bring it back home. Bring the little pack back home. <laughs> she ain't know the trick was in the game. So I said, bring this motherfucking lunch back home with the top on it. The next day, <laughs> nah. God damn it. We had Salisbury steak with mashed potatoes and gravy, motherfucking broccoli, and corn on the cob. 
I pack that shit down in there, put that top back on and take it down. <laughs> Send her ass to school. They went on a field trip. She came home mad as shit. <laughs> so they put all the lunches together. So when they got to their field trip, her shit got bounced around, so it was gravy everywhere. <laughs> Kids was mad. Who got all the gravy? Oh. <laughs> Harvey got gravy everywhere. Who got gravy? Gustavus don't even have gravy. <laughs> so she was a clown for that day. She came home mad as shit. <laughs> she like, don't even have gravy. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'm buying a little crackers and shit for $3.99 every fucking day. <laughs> shit. <coughs> when they fuck with me, I fuck with them back. That's what you gotta do with your kids. They do a little smart shit to bother you, you gotta bother their ass back. So my, my middle daughter, she a little bougie too, so I sent her on the field trip. When we was rumbling, it was kind of tight that week. Money was funny, so I sent her to school with three cans of potted meat. <laughs> Old sleeve of saltine crackers. <laughs> oh, the crystal light sleeves you put in a bottle of water and shake it up. She came home pissed off too. She mad shit, she kicked through the door. Ah! I can't stand it, I ain't going to school no fucking more. I said, what you cussing this shit for? This, and I looked at her finger, she was mad shit. So the trick was, and that pot of meat is a circle can. Saltine crackers is square. So every time she dipped that cracker down, it, it broke. Her finger would go down that part of me. <laughs> she came home, potted meat all on her finger down, and she, she was mad. She said, I'm never going to. I said, what, what happened? She said, I couldn't eat the part of me. I said, you should have. You niggas should go up on your finger there. You come home hungry, home with that bullshit. <laughs> I go, good kids get up my goddamn dirt. <laughs> Tired of seeing dumb shit on Facebook. Anybody on Facebook make some noise? You on Facebook? Yeah. 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 Tired of seeing me and my mother was arguing a couple weeks ago. I'm a real nigga. I put on Facebook, hey, 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 all my boosters. <laughs> Real niggas know. I said, hey, 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 all my boosters. <laughs> I'm looking for three tablets this Christmas season. I pay like I weigh. <laughs> Get at me. Serious increases only. So my mama, church woman, she hit me, and she on my friend's list, so she hit me, she hit me in my inbox. She was like, baby, you know, you might not want to put that out there. Because it's, 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 it's a grind that you want people to steal. And that's not a good look for you. Like I said, I've been doing comedy 12 years, professionally. I'm doing all right, I came from here, and now I'm there, and she's just looking out. And I understood that. But be me and the real nigga that I am, I inboxed her back, I said, first of all, mom, you need to stop taking Facebook too damn serious. It could be took it as a joke, coming from me, but at the same time, this ain't a place for judgment. So I already knew what she was about to say after that. So I went out back, hit me a J when I'm, when I went back, I already knew what she was about to say. She hit back, she was like, whatever. So my point was, I'm real nigga. Every booster from Baltimore to DC to Virginia know. If you take it, and I'm doing all right, you can bring it to me. Pull up at the church, wherever. Wherever you sell or something, you can open your truck up. Steaks, shoes, clothes, motherfucking entertainment centers, all that, Doug will buy. And this was my, this was my message to everybody who was on to that night. Don't take it serious. When I leave this earth, if you say anything about Doug, y'all just met me. You selling something tonight, I get it. You be like, you know one thing about Doug? He kept the edge of the street, he hustled, and he will buy anything. 
no matter what. And that was my that was my message to my mother, letting her know. I put it's your footprints now. It don't matter what people think about you. Oh, he wrong. He he, he want people to steal. We don't got to do that because everybody got to eat. If your only in, means of income is stealing. Call at me. I, I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. Cause I'ma resell the shit any motherfucking way. I'ma take them steaks, I'ma sell dinner Sunday. Tiny shoes, I'ma sell them to somebody. Give them off for Christmas gifts. Cause those my wings, you can't top my wings. You know I had to tell my mother that. You go to church, hey, but you don't understand how wings come. It ain't just through the church. It's through shit like that. So if y'all selling something tonight, cause I am. I got steaks. I got lobster tails, all of that shit. <laughs> Trump. Real live shit, honestly. But stop putting shit on Facebook that don't make no difference. Anybody married out here before I get out here? Anybody married out here? Make some noise. Make some noise. Ladies, stop, stop. Doing, you're breaking up. We need to get back to the times where our aunts and uncles and our great grandparents and shit like that, they sustained marriage because they believed in their vows. They ain't let the outside shit go on. Now that you got social media shit going on, and y'all breaking up with niggas because he like an ass on Instagram. <laughs> For real. Niggas, tennis shoes getting thrown out. All that. She burning up, cutting up his shit because he like an ass on Facebook. And it's a game, man. Don't take shit. It's not perfect. It's not serious. It's just social media. So, from honestly, the way y'all doing dudes now, ladies, we can't even go play basketball with our man's name without you accusing us of fucking. It's a fucked up time now. You, ever, you see the world right now? You got undercover dudes. You got dudes that's coming out telling they suck a dick and shit. Gangsters niggas have been in the penitentiary for 21 years. Now they coming home, they kill us, but they uh, eat a dick on Wednesday. That type of shit. So we got y'all confused. And y'all, a real nigga don't even know how to act. You know, we don't know what to do. So when we say, man, me and Charles can play basketball, she be like, what y'all fucking? You be like, what? Bitch, I kid you when I get in there. How you talk? Why you talking to me like that? <laughs> That's the world we live in now. So ladies, y'all, I, I, I can understand. Yeah, right. <laughs> it changed you, man. It made me fuck up what I was about to say next because... <laughs> you ever ask your woman, be like, look, hey, you feel me? Gonna play poker and shit, son. And you be like, what y'all fucking that play poker? <laughs> But it's dudes that's doing that. They got circle poker dudes that's fucking after they play poker. And the real nigga can't say that no more. <laughs> so I say this to say, when we on Facebook and Instagram and we like ass, some of us just doing it just to be men. I got big eyes. If I see some ass and titties on Facebook, you got damn right I like it. <coughs> if they got the double tap on Facebook, nigga, I'm... Uh, uh, I don't care what you say, wife. I don't care my wife going to be like, oh, you like ass now? Yes, I like ass. And titties and all that that they showing. Because I'm a man. It's natural. Now, if I said I was... You see me on one of them faggot ass sites or something, then you come in and don't say nothing to me. Because that's how the world is now. You think that's how it's supposed to go? No, I'm a motherfucking man. If I see titties and ass free, I ain't got to go to the strip club no fucking more to see titties and ass. That's how I like that. So stop breaking up behind stupid shit like that, ladies. I want to get back to the times where Murray's sustained. It went through years of being married no matter what. Everybody got an uncle, Uncle Charles in here. It was a freak. <laughs> Our family knew he was fucking in the neighborhood. <laughs> she didn't do no stupid shit by breaking up with him. She went to the bitch house. She didn't know where she lived. It was two doors down. She went to family house. <laughs> Velma came to the door, Velma. Tell him to bring his ass on out of here. <laughs> She went and got him, and they put a Stacey Adams on his little tweed suit, came to the door like a man. She grabbed that nigga by the ear, walked him two doors down, took him in the house, put him in the tub, fed him, fucked him, then threw hot grits on his ass about 4.30 in the morning, because she a woman. She had to let him know. But guess what he did? He never beat her or nothing. That nigga straightened up like 6 o'clock after that. <laughs> after birth, after high fish, nigga, you better straighten up. That nigga start church and everything after that. 
people talk about him. You know church people, they talk about him. Because he, he was burned up on the left side. He don't want to talk to you. He come to church, he talk to you on this side. How you doing, sister? How you doing? God bless you, baby. Why Charles only talking on the left side? Well, you know, fam, I'm going to call him over with me in the house. <laughs> on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! And they still married the same. He even got kids the same age. Family and Wilhelmina got kids the same age. Two doors down. Grew up, never knew. They thought the kids were somebody else's. It's Uncle Charles' kids, I tell you. 30 years later, one of your aunts tell her the family reunion. You know the kids in Philomena had this chance to do so. They were 30 days apart, you know damn well. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga shit, man. That's my time. Y'all love y'all, Baltimore. Y'all saw it.